is we've got to go on to the awards ceremony, which is really the centrepiece of this morning's activities. But uh, to those people who made those announcements, thank you very much for sharing that information with us. 32 years. Well, there you go. There you go. Morton. Morton District. Again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the awards ceremony component. And it's my absolute pleasure to be here to assist with the recognition of some of the most dedicated community and police members within our Neighbourhood Watch organisation. Undoubtedly, a recurring theme in deciding these award recipients was that without the valuable and ongoing support of these recipients, uh, a number of groups would have folded or no longer be of service to their community. The importance of Neighbourhood Watch should not be underestimated and true success can only come when we all work together. We in the organisation that we're in understand that more than anyone else. You understand that being part of Neighbourhood Watch. Award recipients were also nominated for their innovation and contribution to the community by steering project groups, incorporating new strategies and working in collaboration with other organisations to achieve these important community objectives. We have much to be grateful for in terms of all of our members and for all of their incredible individual and collective contributions. Those who have been nominated for awards not only exemplify voluntary contribution, but also their ability to extend themselves beyond what is expected, to be innovative and to encompass a whole of community approach. At the culmination of awarding the district award winners, one incredible and dedicated Neighbourhood Watch Queensland community member and Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer will receive the highest honour of being awarded the overall Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year and Liaison Officer of the Year. And I would like to take this opportunity to invite Commissioner Stewart to the stage uh, to present the awards. As the winner's names are read out, could the recipients please make their way to the stage to accept the award and have a photograph taken uh, with Commissioner Stewart. The first awards, ladies and gentlemen, uh, will be presented to the District Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officers of the Year. These are sworn officers of the Queensland Police Service who were nominated by their Neighbourhood Watch group and have been recognised by their district for their outstanding contribution to the program. And I do, ha I do hasten to add that not all of the recipients uh, could be with us today, but fortunately most of them could be. First of all, we turn our attention to the far north. The Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer of the Year for the Far North District is awarded to... Have a drum roll. No, there's no drummers over there. <laughs> Senior, Senior Constable Heidi Marrick of Cairns Crime Prevention Office. <clears throat> with a 17-year with a policing career in the Far North, Heidi has been everything from Supercop to the Far North District Neighbourhood Watch guru. Heidi started in the, uh, the Cairns Crime Prevention Unit in 2009 and discovered she was a natural at dealing with Neighbourhood Watch issues and with the community. She was instrumental in changing the focus of Neighbourhood Watch in the Far North with the use of e-watch groups and social media. This has been the district's e-messaging grow from, has seen the uh, district's e-messaging grow from reaching just 200 people to 20,000 plus. Now that's a fantastic effort, just through the use, just through the use of one of these things here and all that they contain. Congratulations to Senior Constable Heidi Merrick. <laughs> Mackay. The Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer of the Year for the Mackay District is awarded to Sergeant Nigel Dalton of Mackay Police Station. <laughs> Following on from his achievement of the 2017 Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Liaison Officer of the Year, Sergeant Dalton has continued to be extremely active with his local Neighbourhood Watch groups. Nigel attends community projects, including the Community Day at Blacks Beach Cove, run by the Mackay Regional Council, where you will see him cooking on the Neighbourhood Watch trailer barbecue as a Neighbourhood Watch volunteer in his own time. Nigel was very active in the organisation of the local Neighbourhood Watch Queensland 30th anniversary conference held in August and continues to provide local Neighbourhood Watch groups with a very dedicated liaison officer service and is inclusive and enthusiastic in his dealing with all people. Well done, Sergeant Nigel <laughs> Dalton. 
Capricornia. The Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer of the Year for the Capricornia District is awarded to Senior Sergeant Michael Muir of North Rockhampton Station. As the Liaison Officer for North Rockhampton Neighbourhood Watch, Senior Sergeant Muir was nominated for his enthusiasm to make the local community a safer place to live. Senior Sergeant Muir has shown great professionalism to steer his Neighbourhood Watch group in the right direction and to provide crime statistics and crime prevention strategies uh, in articles for the quarterly uh, Neighbourhood Watch Bulletin. Senior Sergeant Muir is also a strong advocate for the Coffee with a Cop community meetings which he regularly attends to advise and support local community members. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Senior Sergeant Michael Muir. <laughs> that Coffee with a Cop sounds like a good idea. If you're not doing it in your area, maybe you could talk to, uh, to, to Michael afterwards and find out a bit more about that initiative. Uh, Wide Bay Burnett, ladies and gentlemen, the Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer for the Year for the Wide Bay Burnett District is awarded to Detective Sergeant Cameron Schneider, Officer in Charge of the Child Protection Investigation Unit in Bundaberg. Well done. <laughs> Detective Sergeant Schneider has been the Avenal Heights 7 Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer for 10 years. Detective Sergeant Schneider has consistently demonstrated the desire and commitment to make a difference to community safety via active engagement in his Neighbourhood Watch group. Sergeant Schneider attends the monthly Neighbourhood Watch meetings offered in his own time and provides regular crime feedback and advice, ensuring the group works together collaboratively and effectively. Communication has expanded amongst the wider community through Detective Sergeant Schneider's promotion and use of my Neighbourhood Watch and My Police blogs. Detective Sergeant Schneider is described by his Neighbourhood Watch members as like a family member. Thank you and congratulations, <laughs> Detective Sergeant Cameron Schneider. The Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer of the Year for the Sunshine Coast District is awarded to Sergeant Yvette Tarrier. <laughs> and, and Yvette is actually from an Ambor Police Station and is described by her Bly Bly Neighbourhood Watch Group as a fantastic representative who communicates effectively and facilitates the flow of information from QPS to Neighbourhood Watch and the community. Yvette also letterbox drops throughout the community and is generous with her time in speaking with community members to alleviate concerns of crime in the area. Yvette assists the area coordinator in bringing together Crime Stoppers, Relationships Australia and many other groups within the community. When asked to describe Yvette, her Neighbourhood Watch group said, there is no task too big for Yvette to take on and she does it with willingness that is unrivalled. Yvette is always well organised and highly professional and educational in all her presentations. Congratulations to Sergeant Yvette Tarrier. The Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer for the Year for the Darling Downs District is awarded to Sergeant Michelle McTaggart of Laidley Police Station. Unfortunately, Michelle is unable to be with us today, as far as I'm aware, um, but we'll ensure the award is presented to her at a later time. But just to read out the work that she has done, Sergeant McTaggart has been involved in the Regency Downs Neighbourhood Watch Group for the past six years. She regularly attends Neighbourhood Watch meetings and provides crime prevention strategies to address local issues. Sergeant McTaggart is highly respected by the Regency Downs Committee and group members. Very professional in her approach to her duties as a Neighbourhood Watch Relay as an officer and understands the important role that Neighbourhood Watch plays in helping to prevent crime and build community safety and uh, community inclusion. Well, let's congratulate her in absentia and make sure that we get that award to her in due course, Sergeant Michelle McTaggart. The Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer for the Year for the Ipswich District is awarded to Senior Constable Andrew Conway of the Boona Police Station. <laughs> Senior Constable Conway has demonstrated genuine and consistent support for the Boona Neighbourhood Watch program for the last 11 years. Not only has Senior Constable Conway shown his support for Neighbourhood Watch Queensland program in a professional capacity, but has also enlisted the support of his sister to perform the secretarial role for the term. Wow, that's a keeping the family. Well done, mate. Uh, Senior Constable Conway conducts community-based presentations and always promotes Neighbourhood Watch at these presentations across the Boona Division. Andrew has proven to be a reliable and competent officer working alongside and as part of his community in Boona. 
He consistently promotes the aims and objectives of the Neighbourhood Watch program, not only professionally, but personally as a key member of the Boona community. Ladies and gentlemen, Senior Constable Andrew Conway. The Liaison Officer, Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer for the Year for the Morton District is awarded to Senior Constable Rebecca McManingman of Caboolture Police Station. <laughs> Again, my notes say that regrettably, uh, Rebecca is unable to be with us today and that her award will of course be presented to her at a later time. But let me just uh, read out uh, her, uh, what she has been, been doing. It was nominated by the Caboolture 10 Neighbourhood Watch Group for not only her work with this group, but for all groups in the Caboolture North area. Rebecca also has stood behind the evolution of Facebook pages for all Neighbourhood Watch groups and has offered short seminars for those groups slow to take on the, the Facebook page. She has also been very instrumental in collaborating with the Moreton Bay Police blog. And if you don't know the, the My Police blog, then ask a few questions, folks. Um, Senior Constable McManingman has worked collaboratively with Caboolture 10 Neighbourhood Watch to ensure that they have regular police crime reports at meetings and to talk with residents who have issues with property crime or other issues. Senior Constable McManingman is described by her Neighbourhood Watch group as hardworking, dependable, respectful, friendly, community minded, solution focused and positive in the face of adversity. So congratulations to Senior Constable Rebecca McManingman. Rebecca mightn't be here, but she's got a fan club here. That's great to see. Fantastic. Okay, North Brisbane now, folks. The Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer for the Year for the North Brisbane District is awarded to Senior Constable Megan DeWire of the North Brisbane Crime Prevention Office. Again, unfortunately, Megan is unable to be with us and her award will be presented at some other convenient time. Now, she's been a Police Liaison Officer for the Boondal 16 Neighbourhood Watch Group since 2010. She attended most AGMs and at which she has provided forthright advice and guidance. She's also supported uh, Boondle 16's community activities, including the annual afternoon tea and sausage sizzle in Rainbow Lorikeet Park, at which she has addressed attendees and provided literature on crime prevention issues and issues relevant uh, to the area. She's also been a strong supporter of special activities such as one-way screw days and safe streets visit in our area. Megan is a dedicated and active ambassador and advocate for Neighbourhood Watch. She has been and is continuing to be a source of sound, practical advice on crime prevention and personal safety, both at the individual and community level. So congratulations there, ladies and gentlemen, to Senior Constable Megan DeWire, who's un not, not here today. Someone who is here today from South Brisbane, the Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer of the Year for the South Brisbane District is awarded to Senior Constable Ben Harm of Centenary North Police Beat. <laughs> ben has been a dedicated Liaison Officer to the Jindalee and Oxley Ridge Neighbourhood Watch Groups for a number of years. Ben consistently attends monthly meetings as a police representative and friend where he provides a police report, information on topical issues and answers questions. Due to Ben's unwavering commitment, both groups have a very healthy membership and he actively participates in local community engagement and fundraising events, including Christmas barbecues, spring fairs, Bunnings fundraisers and crime prevention activities. Ben actively promotes both groups throughout the community. Ben's commitment and passion for the role has seen him provide a sensitive and appropriate response to victims of crime. He's instrumental in engaging, educating and supporting community members and groups in order to achieve positive outcomes within the Mount Omni Division. Congratulations, Senior Constable Ben Harm. That, that's my home division, actually. I live in the Mount Omni Division. So well done, mate. Good work. <laughs> Gold Coast, the Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer for the Year for the Gold Coast. Well, this would be a very popular local uh, one to be listening out for. Senior Constable David Sammons of Eleonora Police Beat. We asked Mayor Tom Tate to come up and uh, jointly present this with our Commissioner. So Senior Constable Sammons has been attached to the Eleonora Police Beat for several years. Not only has Dave taken on the Liaison Officer role for Palm Beach 7, he has supported six other neighbourhood watch groups in the Palm Beach area. As a result, all are active and healthy, thanks largely to the instruments 
and cooperation from Dave and others at Eleanora Police Beat. Dave is a very regular attendee at Palm Beach 7 Neighbourhood Watch meetings and has developed an excellent relationship with members and residents, following up information given to the police at meetings and giving attendees valuable information. Dave has proven to be a strong advocate of Neighbourhood Watch and the police hierarchy and looks for opportunities to further the inclusion of Neighbourhood Watch in police practice and decision making. Ladies and gentlemen, the local winner here, Senior Constable Dave Sammons. The Neighbourhood Watch Liaison Officer for the Year for the Logan District is awarded to Senior Constable Neil Harris of Springwood Police Beat. However, unfortunately, Neil can't be with us today either. So, but to read through um, what he has done, um, he'd been a Police Liaison Officer for the Daisy Hill Neighbourhood Watch for the last six years, during which time he has regularly attended monthly meetings and often speaks about personal and community safety. Senior Constable Harris provides information about police activity in the area and answers residents' questions. He also attends Neighbourhood Watch community activities when possible and interacts with residents on a case-by-case -case basis. He instigated Project KeySafe, applying for and receiving a grant. It was developed in partnership with uh, two Griffith University students, Springwood Police and Neighbourhood Watch, and successfully promulgated throughout newsletters, community event attendance, surveys and academic research. Senior Constable Harris is described by his Neighbourhood Watch members as a very personable and effective police liaison officer, an excellent communicator and as friendly and approachable. He is trusted by residents who compete for his attention during functions. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to Senior Constable Neil Harris. So, um, please join me in acknowledging all of those uh, Police Liaison Officer Award recipients. Our next awards are presented to the District Neighbourhood Watch um, Queensland Community Members of the Year, who at the district level have been recognised for their dedication, their, their commitment, an outstanding contribution to the program. So for the Far North, the Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year for the Far North District is awarded to Cathy Jay of Edmonton Neighbourhood Watch. As a member of Neighbourhood Watch for over 15 years, Cathy has provided support not only for Edmonton Neighbourhood Watch but also District Neighbourhood Watch events. Uh, Cathy became area coordinator in 2016 and actively encourages members of the community to speak up about issues that affect their suburbs. Cathy interacts with residents, ensuring their safety and providing advice on the right people to contact when issues do arise. Cathy was awarded the Neighbourhood Watch Gold Award in 2017. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Cathy Jay from Far North. Townsville, the Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year for the Townsville District is awarded to Kevin Webb of Mundingborough, number six, Aitken Vale, Neighbourhood Watch. As the area coordinator, Kevin has maintained and organised the Mundingborough Neighbourhood Watch Group for nominally 12 years, including the production of and delivery of the area's two monthly newsletters. Kevin has organised speakers from various groups who have provided information to assist local residents with issues such as home safety, health and well-being. Kevin, along with other members, provide assistance with the yearly Kids ID Alert program at the Townsville Exhibition and the Motor Race Weekend in Townsville. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Kevin Webb. The Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year for the Mackay District is awarded to Joe Walker of Mackay Northern De Beaches uh, Neighbourhood Watch. Unfortunately, Joe can't be with us today and we'll get that. Uh, in fact, we'll ask Sergeant Nigel Dalton to come forward and accept the award on her behalf. As a member of the Mackay Northern Beaches leadership team, Joe has for many years been very active in forming and maintaining the cuppa and chat group at Shoal Point. Joe has been a member of the area's steering committee for many years and is currently active within the 30th anniversary celebration committee. 
Joe is one member who can be counted on to get involved with neighbourhood watch activities such as cuppa and chaps, sausage sizzle cooking and the dreaded washing up. <laughs> Always washing up, isn't there? Joe was awarded the Neighbourhood Watch Gold Lapel Award in 2018. So congratulations to Joe Walker and we'll get Sergeant Nigel Dalton to convey not only the, the award but also, but also our, our esteem and, and congratulations to Joe. So Capricornia, the Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year for the Capricornia District is awarded to Gordon and Mary Adams of the North Rockhampton No. 1, in brackets, the Caves Neighbourhood Watch. Regrettably, Gordon and Mary can't be with us today, and I'm going to ask Senior Sergeant Michael Muir to step forward and to accept this award on their behalf. <laughs> now, Gordon and Mary have been members of the Caves Neighbourhood Watch since 1994 and have attended almost every meeting. As block coordinators, Gordon and Mary are responsible for a large section of the Caves Neighbourhood Watch. They both actively seek out and welcome new residents to the area. They collect crime statistics and refurbish street signs when required. Mary and Gordon provide significant support for local events such as the River Reviver, the Driver Reviver Program, the annual fair in the square. Gordon and Mary were awarded the Neighbourhood Watch Gold Lapel Award in 2006. Uh, so congratulations to, to Gordon and Mary. both of whom are in their 90s. Well done. So, so Michael Muir is going to take that award back to them and also Michael, please convey our collective thanks and goodwill towards Gordon and Mary. Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year for the Wide Bay Burnett District is awarded to Dawn Lawrence of Bagara No. 4. Burnett Heads in the Port Neighbourhood Watch. While only a Neighbourhood Watch member for two years, Dawn has already achieved more than what most would in such an organisation. This is Dawn's second year as Secretary, however she is relieved in other roles such as Treasurer and Organiser when there were no other volunteers. Within her two years, Dawn has worked alongside councils to better the Burnett Heads community. Dawn has repeatedly contributed her time and effort in supporting Neighbourhood Watch at events aimed at promoting Neighbourhood Watch within the community. Dawn was responsible for kick-starting Neighbourhood Watch Day in the Burnett Heads region and the installation of road safety kangaroo signs after a serious accident. Dawn is a quiet achiever who contributes everything she has without any desire for recognition. You didn't get away with it today, Dawn. <laughs> Dawn believes in the Neighbourhood Watch cause and uses her infectious personality and creative ideas to encourage fellow community members to get on board. Well done. Thank you. Congratulations to Dawn Lawrence. Folks, the Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year for the Sunshine Coast District is awarded to Edith Blank of Bly Bly. As the area coordinator, Edith is very proactive in posting information on the area's Facebook page, along with arranging articles for the local Bly Bly Bulletin. She is also well known in the Bly Bly area and has great relationships with local businesses and community groups and as a result, many of these businesses actively and willingly support and promote Neighbourhood Watch. Under Edith's coordination, the area held a skate park competition in collaboration with Skate Aid Australia. Bly Bly Neighbourhood Watch funded the event, allowing kids to participate for free with a strong message instilled about safety, anti-bullying and looking after the park. Edith organised event sponsorships and involved the regional council, Crime Stoppers and Queensland Police. Edith works tirelessly throughout the community and has single-handedly rebranded Neighbourhood Watch and the way the program is viewed in the community. Some of the events Edith coordinates include Turning of the Screws, Bly Bly Neighbourhood Watch Fun Run for White Ribbon and Bicycle Engravings with the aim to involve youth in the Neighbourhood Watch program. Ladies and gentlemen, huge congratulations to uh, Edith Blank. Neighbourhood Watch Member of the Year for the South West District is awarded to Patrice Fennick of Mergen Neighbourhood Watch. <laughs> Patrice is a valued member of the Mergen Neighbourhood Watch Committee. 
She has implemented initiatives including a farm camera project and helped write a funding submission for a Mergen Cameras on Patrol project. This has resulted in the gathering of evidence in relation to a range of local crimes. Patrice has built great partnerships in the community and provides value, valuable support and assistance to all who know her. She actively supports and promotes Neighbourhood Watch, keeping it well established and well utilised crime prevention resource in the Mergen and surrounding areas. Well done and congratulations to Patrice Fennick. <clears throat> the Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year for the Darling Downs District is awarded to Brian Jens of Toowoomba area number 14. Can I also invite Trevor Watts to the stage, please, to, uh, to co-present this. Brian has been a Neighbourhood Watch member for six years, including the last four as the area coordinator. Brian has made significant contributions to his area, including negotiations with council to improve local school crossings and the installation of new park seating and off-leach dog areas. Brian is knowing for going that extra step and to ensure benefit to Neighbourhood Watch members and also the local community. Ladies and gentlemen, together with his local member and the Commissioner, congratulate Brian Jens. We're very grateful to have um, Sergeant Jeremy Dunn here taking the photograph. Jeremy has been a member of our photographics division for, uh, for many, many years and uh, is an expert photographer in his own right. So thank you very much, <laughs> Brian Jens. <laughs> Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year for the Ipswich District is awarded to Janet White of the, the Dinmore Ebwale Neighbourhood Watch. Janet joined that particular Neighbourhood Watch group in 2002. After 10 years as Treasurer, Janet became Area Coordinator for one year. She then took on the role of Secretary Treasurer in 2013, a role she continues with today. Janet is also the Ipswich District Neighbourhood Watch Treasurer, a role she has held for five years. Janet attends the group's monthly meetings and has attended the Ipswich District Committee meetings over many years. She is always willing to support local events including Neighbourhood Watch Static Displays, Clean Up Australia Day and Council Tree Collection Days. Janet has maintained the group's Facebook page for a while and she was awarded the Neighbourhood Watch Gold Lapel Badge in 2012. So congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, to Janet White. Anyone who's been a treasurer for 10 years certainly deserves recognition. Those of you, those of us who have been treasurers in various uh, committees and organisations. Uh, the Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year for the Morton District is awarded to Carol Clare of Caboolture 18. <laughs> Carol is not only the Caboolture 18 Area Coordinator, but also represents the Morton District on the Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Community Advisory Committee. She has demonstrated her commitment to her community by organising and introducing the Dogs on Patrol project and the, and in the Morton District. She was the point of contact with all businesses and neighbourhood watch groups. Carol advertised in the local community radio, Facebook, neighbourhood watch and My Police blogs. Her tireless efforts resulted in a successful launch for the area. Carol has also taken the lead in the use of social media in the district. Carol supports Neighbourhood Watch blog training as the chief Facebook expert and has also supported other groups to set up their own page. Carol is the editor of the Facebook, the district Facebook page. Her cheerful willingness to assist everyone and anyone, she can exemplifies, tre exemplifies the true spirit of the Neighbourhood Watch Queensland mission of encouraging the whole community to work together to reduce crime and improve community safety. So thank you very much to Carol Clare. Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year for the South Brisbane District is awarded to Bill Jeffs of Anala One. Anala One in brackets, Durac. Bill joined this watch in 1993. It is currently his own coordinator. 
Secretary and Social Media Coordinator. Just to keep you off the streets, Bill, is it? Uh, <laughs> Bill is also the District Representative on the Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Community Advisory Committee. He has taken on the role of Administrator for the, uh, for the Watch Facebook page and shares relevant um, Neighbourhood Watch Queensland blog posts to the page. Between his role uh, as, and, and as a volunteer in police, Bill has over 465 posted blog articles. Wow, that's, uh, that's amazing, truly amazing. As South Brisbane District Representative on the Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Community Advisory Committee, Bill ensures that watch groups are kept informed about the committee's actions. At the local level, Bill took on the project of replacing old Neighbourhood Watch Queensland street signs and additional signs when the watch area was extended, liaising with the Queensland Police Service and also the Council. He has also coordinated bans in the park events and anti-theft number plate screw events, uh, obtaining a, no a Neighbourhood Watch Queensland grant to purchase the screws. Bill is the recipient of the Neighbourhood Watch Gold Lapel Award and was the 2015 South Brisbane District Neighbourhood Watch Community Member of the Year. Wow, there's a mouthful. Thank you and congratulations to Bill Jeffs. Well done. We're going to invite the Mayor back to the stage because we've got the Gold Coast District Award and this one goes to Vicky Cowell of Narang number two. Vicky Colwell, sorry. And Vicky has been the area coordinator of Narang 2 since 2013. Vicky has established great partnerships with businesses and prominent members of the local community to host twice yearly Neighbourhood Watch Family Fun Days. These events have been hugely successful and attendance continues to grow. At the most recent Fun Day, over 500 local residents attended and indeed enjoyed the day's activities. Vicky has demonstrated the values of Neighbourhood Watch through her coordination of numerous local activities. By working closely with local police and businesses, she is effectively promoting Neighbourhood Watch to the wider community. Vicky's focus is to bring neighbours together in a fun and relaxed environment to develop a real sense of community in the area, along with an awareness of the work of Neighbourhood Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Vicky Colwell. The Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year for the Logan District is awarded to Jeff and Wendy Smith of Crestmead. As the Area Coordinator since 2005, Jeff has been very proactive as an Area Coordinator. He's also included representing Logan District on the Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Community Advisory Committee and coordinating three road safety expos in the Logan area. Wendy has undertaken duties of Treasurer and Secretary and has been very successful in gaining funding through grant writing. Jeff speaks to local groups as well as being a conduit for people who wish to start up neighbourhood watch groups in their area. Jeff and Wendy also organise events such as fraud awareness sessions, cyber security talks, seniors week afternoon teas and annual neighbour days. Jeff and Wendy were instrumental in campaigning for and obtaining uh, government funding for this conference, without which it may not have actually gone ahead. So well done to, to Jeff and Wendy. Both Jeff and Wendy have individually received previous Logan District Community Member of the Year awards and Jeff, a Neighbourhood Watch Australasia Certificate of Merit um, award in 2016. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, please uh, congratulate Jeff and Wendy. Great work. And again, ladies and gentlemen, can you please join me in thanking the award winners for their dedication, commitment, and also congratulate them on this great achievement. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for the overall 2018 Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Liaison Officer of the Year and Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year Awards. Now we cannot forget that it takes a whole team effort to actually achieve results and it seems that right across the state groups are doing amazing projects uh, in their communities and we commend everyone for their ongoing efforts and commitment to Neighbourhood Watch. 
These awards were chosen by a panel who reviewed the nominations for each of the district award winners. They were ranked against specific criteria to obtain an overall score. The first award is the Max Heaps Memorial Award for the Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Liaison Officer of the Year. This award is presented to a police officer who demonstrates outstanding commitment not only to their local neighbourhood watch group, but to the whole program. The award winner is someone who has brought about creative and innovative projects, provided ongoing support and demonstrated the passion and the ability to represent the Queensland Police Service to improve service delivery to their local and neighbourhood watch groups and the community it represents. Ladies and gentlemen, the Max Heaps Memorial Award for 2018, Neighbourhood Watch the Liaison Officer of the Year goes to, can I have a drum roll please? Senior Constable Ben Harm. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Actually, we're ahead of time, mate, so just take your time. Um, <laughs> These photographers are fussy, I can tell you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Senior Constable Ben Harm from Centenary North Police Beat. In a similar fashion, the 2018 Neighbourhood Watch Member of the Year was just as difficult to decide as there are many volunteers who are quiet achievers, who work consistently and who just get the job done. Uh, so we're grateful for everyone's effort and support and their contributions. This award is the highest honour that one can receive and goes to a Neighbourhood Watch member who continually demonstrates their ability to get the job done, an outstanding commitment and service, and a person who reminds us the importance of community and connectedness. Furthermore, the award winner again is a person who goes above and beyond expectations in an effort to embrace and to reach a wider and more inclusive demographic. This winner has demonstrated an ability to utilise the tools and the opportunities available to them to create innovative projects and work in a wider partnership with the community, with exuberance and passion which energises and encourages others all around them. Please join me in congratulating the 2018 Neighbourhood Watch Queensland Member of the Year drummer, Carol Clare. <laughs> I sense you're generally surprised. <laughs> Now, what I would like to do, ladies and gentlemen, is get all the award recipients back onto the stage so we can take a group photo. So those of you who received awards, both as police officers and also as community members, if you make your way to the stage, please, we'll do a group photo up here uh, and before we very shortly adjourn for morning tea. So can I ask the, the, the award recipients to please come up on the stage? Bring your awards with you. That'll be a nice touch. And while we're doing that, folks, can we give Carol Clare just one more uh, round of acknowledgement?
Yeah, right, mate. Do you want me in or out? Hey, guys, can move forward too? I'm just going to go up the back. Why up the rest? Yeah. Okay. So now I need a place to come forward and make sure that you're in this place. Yeah, I don't know. Making this real. 